Well, there were supportive devices for the chesticles. This is what happens. Back pain. Extreme back pain. Okay. Really? Come on, Twitch. Twitch, 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 Twitch. Come on. Focus. Cooperate. Do your thing. Do what you're supposed to. Hello? Man, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, my contacts are bugging my eyes at the moment. Watch now. There we go. Alright, so... I don't know if they're actually going to come back. Because I tried my stream cut out. Uh, let's try... Sorry, I remember where I was. Oh, boy. I know that my stream... Oh. Cut out. I am straining my eyes with contacts. My stream just was like, oh yeah. I don't know, did they come back? Oh boy. I don't know if they did. I just know that my uh, stream decided to randomly quit. Um, so apologies. I don't know if Garfield came back. Oh no. I know that my stream decided to be a bot. I was trying to Ow. let the other person know that I had trouble eating cake and stuff for my birthday this year because last year my body just decided, hey, no cake. My body does not like desserts. I love drawing and painting desserts, but that's the only way I get to enjoy them. Alright. Let me try and erase. Kind of. Maybe not that. Maybe. Um, there we go. Kind of lead over here, and then go over to here, and here, and here. Kind of like maybe big eyes, like big, 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 big eyes. Kind of like a pleading eyes. Okay, let me grab the. My eyes are going through a lot of strain. I need to take my contacts out. Man. My stream just decided to be a butt. No big deal, you know. Like, I did not try it in my stream. My stream just kind of went kaput. I need to take my contacts out because my eyes are going to hurt. Uh, this is going to be gross for some people because some people don't like people touching their eyes or messing around with their eyeballs. Trigger warning. I guess for those that have issues with the eyes being touched. Hold on. There we go. There's one. Whew. That's the problem. My eyes strain when I wear the corrective lenses for too long. Alright, here we go. We got that one on the first try. Oh. Okay, cool. Whew. In my eyes. Oh, that helps immensely. Okay. Whew. And now I just probably have to wear glasses, but you know. Oh, my eyes. Wore contacts for like a while. Did not. <gasps> I did not mean to wear them for that long. It was unintentional. Okay. Okay, going over here. And. Going to grab the line work. And then 
there and there. Less of a headache. And I know that my stream has lag issues. I'm aware of that. Ah, my eyes itch. <gasps> oh, I'm tired. Very tired. I've been up since like 6 a.m. So, uh, like. A while. Just gonna go over this, put the ears down a bit. Ears down a bit. Like, I hope they didn't feel like I stopped streaming because of them. It wasn't because of them. The stream just kind of stopped on its own and I feel bad. Because it's not their fault. And I'm gonna like try to go over here. Did they come back? So I'm a legitimate conversation with this person and then they gone. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. <laughs> Grab the cord. Got it. Alright, gonna try to reattach this charging cord. Ah. E ah. Anyways. Oh, there goes a the charging. I gotta go over here. Body. Come on. Okay, here we are. Go over here. Oh, there's my eye. I took my contacts out because my eyes, they tend to strain if I wear contacts for a while. My eyes are kind of red <laughs> without the contacts. But like the pink makes the blue like stand out apparently. Let's try and like go over here. Over here. And grab the Oops. Probably not like that. Lightly light mother lightly and big. There we go. Kind of big in that. Okay. Well, obviously, we need to go like a little bit too far on that one. Whoops. People are asking what the word is. There we go. Now we're gonna go in with the really, really big pleading eyes. You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Um, I'm gonna go over here and grab the really big pupils. And then grab normal color and go ahead and grab this. Bam bear. Oh shit. I was supposed to do food stuff. Eh, it's fine. There we go. Oh, it is almost 12.30. Go like that. And go here. And go 
here and then let the shoulders go down. Need to go back. Hi. And then pain. Well, that's my normal. Have you ever had a pain free day? What the fuck is that? But seriously, what is a what is a pain free day? Like, do people have those? The fuck? I have chronic pain issues, okay? Most of this is due to the chest full issue. Erase it. Erase it off. Erase it, erase it off. Hello. Grabbing this. So, my thing is with the Twitch streaming and stuff, I'm gonna try and set a goal. Um, if I can get at least five people to be active during each stream while I'm streaming on Twitch, I will draw a request from anyone in that stream. Um, but it has to be safe for work. Um, any idea that people have to draw, including, like, just little random ideas like Among Us in a Godzilla outfit and stuff like that, just, I'm game. I'm game if you are. Let's try to get a Twitch thing kind of going, I guess. I need to quit streaming. Well, like for the night, not like indefinitely, like just, just for the night. Just because I need to finish this and then just kind of take a break. And actually do the food thing, because I need to or I'm going to be in trouble. I need to listen. Listen to the person who is your caregiver. And, okay, that's not the apple. And I've said too much. Listen to the person who has a uh, common sense and decency. That's much better. You gonna slip one of these days, and ain't no one gonna be able to help you. Shh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Is it fine? Is it really fine? Don't need that right now. Oh shit, I messed up. When don't you mess up? Bitch, if you're gonna start this at 12.30 at night, we ain't doing this. And we will initially just stop everything until you decide to stop being a bitch. Okay. We come into an agreement that you will just kind of, like, not be a bitch. No. Sorry, sometimes I get into my own head and I can't talk to myself. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. I just watched that this morning. How do you start your day sewing and watching Nightmare Before Christmas? Because, bitch, it's Halloween. It's not for another month or two. It's Halloween. Go away. Every day's spooky season. No, but there's people still like watching the live and watching how I like actually react to things, but trust me, I'm not that entertaining. <laughs> Random glitches. I have had too much of the social interaction. Congratulations, your battery has dropped below like 40% on the social interaction. You're losing your shit and slowly going psycho. I know that I kind of just ramble and rant and my brain goes a million miles an hour and I try to follow it on a moped. Like, I, I try to keep up, like, with my brain and the way my thoughts go. And most of the time when I try to catch up with my thoughts, I, it's like my brain is a bullet train and I am on a moped traveling at max speed just trying to catch this bullet train that apparently... <sighs> disconnected, huh? That apparently seems to be offline, off tracks, and off kilter. 
and off center apparently. You got like a wonky ass moped, but it's not just any moped. It's like a moped with like a flat tire that's like doing its best to survive. <laughs> the embodiment of my life. Okay. Who is Big Mini and the people that are in the chat or in the streaming viewing? I don't know who is there. Who is. Sorry, I'm trying to see who all's in the comment section and stuff. Ah. Okay. Hello, Brian. And welcome to the stream. Hey, yo, Sakura, Peachy. Hey, hello. I am streaming on Twitch. Um, I took my red contacts out. My eyes are a bit strained, but I decided to put on a wig and I wanted to wear a tank top and I just wanted to be comfortable, like, because it's hot and, um, wearing a tank top apparently at the beginning of the stream, um, got comments from some people who, uh, I kind of care less for the comments they made, um, kind of caused me to be a bit dephoric. De it's the new word, dephoric. Um, dysphoric. Um, because I am not a big fan of having the chesticles and I've tried getting them reduced before because the surgeon wouldn't do a full removal. Um, they were very transphobic and homophobic and I've always had uh, chest dysphoria since I was younger. And, um, I just wanted to be comfy in a tank top and a bunch of these guys were making comments about how the, they wanted to shove their face in the milkers or how I had massive milk mounds or and stuff like that. And look at the milkies. And I'm just like, um, could you stop? Like it was... <laughs> Frustrating. Um, infuriating a little bit, but mostly frustrating. And I don't make enough to get top surgery. I was doing it through insurance at the time. And I've asked my doctor currently, Hey, is there any way you could possibly like fix the mess ups the previous surgeon did? And, um, my doctor responded with, there's not really anything we can do right now to fix your situation because insurance isn't going to cover that because we don't think it's medically necessary for you. And I'm like, cool, um, cool. So, yeah. I try to be comfortable. And apparently me being comfortable allows for people to misgender and sexualize me. Which is bullshit. <laughs> My pronouns are they, them. And I just don't like having a chest. It's been a thing since I was a kid and it's caused a lot of back issues. I'm just gonna say that. There were people commenting, saying, oh, double D's, are you a double D? I'm like, no, no, I am not. I was once, at one point, before surgery, I was a J, but I got reduction and went down to like a C or D, and I do not want to be bigger. I do not want to have them, and it's frustrating that the medical field right now is just like, Oh yeah, well you see you've got um you've got this so you don't get to you know and we we had pre-tried it once so we're not gonna do it again and it's like ah <laughs> like why are you this way? Can't you just help people? Your job as a doctor is to help people. And I know that me talking about it really isn't great or anything for other people, but, um, yeah, my pronouns are they, them, 
and I tend to get misgendered a lot, even whenever I just want to address presentable or cosplay. Um, I get a lot of misgendering. Uh, I have a lot of friends that I have been my friends since I started going to conventions and cosplaying and stuff, and when I started out, I was still new to figuring out my pronouns and how I identified, and so I went with biological gender at the time, and a couple years later decided, hey, there's gender fluid and gender queer, and I identify with those, and I prefer they them because it's more comfortable for me. And my um, friends that I had um, basically refer to me as she or her and still say, hey, girly, what's up? And I'm like, you've been my friend for years. I don't want to get mad at you. I don't want to be angry at you. I don't want to be upset with you, but I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I know that sometimes some people are like, oh, well, that shouldn't matter. They're your friends and like mistakes happen. I'm like, yes, mistakes happen, but they don't correct the she, her. They don't correct it to they, them. They still use it. And some of them, whenever I explained, hey, I'm uncomfortable, I don't identify with this. Some of them have been like, yeah, but... I still see you as female, and so you'll always be female to me. And I'm like, you don't know how bad that actually hurts me. And they're like, well, I'm sorry, I can't see you any other way. And I'm like, why? Why can't you see me any other way? Well, I don't want to be attracted to someone who like identifies as male, because I'm, I'm straight. And I'm like, Buddy, if you are attracted to me or attracted to a non-binary individual who is neither male nor female, or both, and that that's a little gay, buddy. Just a little bit. <laughs> like, I hate that their excuses. I'm straight, and I don't want to be attracted to that. And it's like, um, buddy, look, you're attracted to me? You're not straight. You got a little gay in there. And I... A dead name or use the wrong pronouns with me. And... It's just frustrating. But yeah, my pronouns are they, them. I go by Airy, Pyro, um, and Zimmer, which is my persona. Um, Zimmer is my non-binary persona. I generally draw Zimmer, who is my Finnick, without a chest because it is how I would be comfortable seeing myself if I were my Sona, is no chest. And so when I post art of them on like online and stuff, People will misgender my Sona because I don't draw them with a chest. People are like, oh, your Sona's a boy. They don't have a chest. I'm like, no. Oh, so they're a girl? I'm like, no. They're like, oh, well, well what do they have? Uh, they could have anything. They could be, they could be like a guy. They could be a girl. What do you want? <laughs> um... You kind of got a little bit... We, we could toss a dice. They can go grab them from like a compartment or something. I don't know. But um, people will misgender my Sona because I draw them without a chest because that's how I'm more comfortable. Anything. Because it depends on what I'm feeling like up to that day and most of the time I don't draw them with anything because I don't feel like I should like I'm comfortable with them not having a gendered aspect
because I don't feel it's fair to gender my Sona. And there are people online that are like, oh, well, that makes no sense because you should have a gender. I need to know what I'm looking at here. And I'm like, you're looking at a anthropomorphic um, animal character that 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 is not drawn with gender specification. Like, it apparently makes them upset to not have a gender on the Sona. And I'm like, well, I'm not upset by it, so where are you? <laughs> and, um... I've had people that, because I draw my Sona without a chest, and because they're a Finnick, Finnicks are generally really small, very small in height. They're the smallest fox in the world, and they live in a desert. And 